As part of the Isofruit Fruit at Work study, employees of Durham County Hall in the UK have been offered free fruit at work to see if a fruit boost can improve the health and well-being of the UK workforce. The study is led jointly by Professor Chris Seal of Newcastle University and Inga Tietens of the Technical University of Denmark. Inga Tietens is the leader of the Isofruit Work Package 2.2, Fruit Slim, which investigates if increased fruit consumption can reduce or prevent obesity. Their team of researchers will now talk about the Fruit at Work study. Uh, my name is Seville Alinia and uh, I work at the National Food Institute, DTU, in Denmark. Within the Isofruit project, we, um, we work on a Fruit at Work uh, study. We, we try to see whether free available fruit at work uh, would have an effect on uh, those who are eating the fruit and their body weight and uh, other um, health parameters. My name is Charlotte Bryant and I'm from Newcastle University. I'm involved with um, the Fruit at Work study. I'm involved coordinating that project at Durham County Council. I originally contacted the Chief Executive at County Hall and he passed me on to Occupational Health and via them we set up with various members at County Hall such as the porters about delivering the fruit and people about having the rooms for the fruit um, and we set up via them and they've been really really accommodating. We had done a pilot study, a feasibility study in Denmark we found out that uh, if you have free available fruit at work then you increase uh, your fruit intake and then uh, we went to find uh, another uh, setting uh, we found out that uh, people in UK are uh, some of the people who eat uh, um, very little fruit relatively uh, compared to other European countries um, and also um, averagely uh, there are more overweight people in the uh, UK uh, compared to other European countries so we thought it would be interesting to see uh, if there would be any effect in a country where uh, fruit at work is, uh, is an unknown uh, thing. The setup is the fruit's delivered three times a week and there's enough delivered to have two pieces every day. The fruit has been sourced from a local supplier called JR Holland and they deliver um, the fruit three, three times a week and they're a popular su supplier to all northeast businesses and schools. And we've had a good range of fruits, there's been um, oranges, bananas, apples, pears, kiwis and within that obviously different varieties of apples and, and pears. We have divided the, the participants into two groups, into intervention group who receives the fruit now and the control, control group who didn't receive the fruit but they're going to as an appreciation for their participation, they're going to receive the fruit uh, when the study is over. And, uh, I would love, like to see if uh, people who are in the intervention group uh, have they changed their habits and uh, also the control group, uh, does it affect their, uh, their habits as well. Uh, they, we uh, measure their body weight and uh, their height of course so we can uh, calculate their BMI. Um, uh, BMI is your body weight in kilograms divided by uh, your height in meters square. It tells you uh, whether you are uh, normal weight or underweight or overweight. For normal, normal weight is 18.5 till 25. Uh, if you are above 25 until 30, you are overweight. And if you are uh, above 30, you are severe overweight. You're obese, actually. Uh, and we have measured their waist circumference, their uh, fat percent, and their uh, blood pressure. I just thought I'd start with some questions. Have you any implanted medical devices as a case for you? No. Have you had any alcohol in the last 48 hours? Yes. Have you taken part in any intense exercise in the last 12 hours? No. How long is it since you had anything to drink? 10 minutes ago? Yes. And have you emptied your bladder last night? Just. Okay. Yeah. Yes? Fine. Then I will take your blood pressure. Besides that, we also asked them to 
complete a food frequency questionnaire asking them about their food intake in the previous week. Uh, and we, they did that uh, before the study began and again now right before the study ends. Uh, so we're interested in seeing if they have changed their eating habits before the study and after the study. Uh, and every other week we have asked them to complete a short, very short uh, snacking questionnaire uh, where basically we asked them uh, how much fruit they have been eating at work, how much chocolate or other kind of snacks and uh, uh, soft drink and these sorts of things. Um, and they complete this uh, by the end of a working day. Okay, my name is Amelia Lake and I am a research fellow and also a dietitian and also a pub public health nutritionist and I work at the Human Nutrition Research Centre at Newcastle University. I have come in to help a bit with the project management side of things and also to run some qualitative interviews just to get an idea of what's happening behind the scenes so really picking up what's happening within the offices, what's the fruit done in terms of motivating people to take on other health behaviours, how it's impacted their colleagues. So quite, I've, I've got quite a few roles within the study. The workplace is a really good place for an intervention, not only to increase fruit, but generally to improve health and lifestyle. So it's a, it's a good, good place to try and target behaviour change. What we hope is, and that our theory is that then you uh, substitute other snacks like chocolate or other sweets uh, with, the, with fruit. Uh, so you eat less of those things and more fruit and it would have an impact on your health if you do that. I think the study's gone really well. The feedback we've had from people taking part has been positive. Um, everybody's enjoyed getting free fruit, they've increased their intake and a lot of people have said that they've reduced snacking on less healthy things such as crisps and chocolate so that's obviously a positive thing. January, your weight here, your kilo, you can see now here, 66 kilos, so you lost about 2 kilos, so that's good. I've been receiving the fruit for the last 6 months, yes. I think it's a really good study. Um, I think you feel the benefits, you know, feel much healthier for eating the fruit because um, sometimes you don't often bring fruit in yourself but the fruit comes up so it does make you have the fruit and eat it. My son works at County Hall as well and he has been taking part in this study so obviously he's eating the fruit as well and we've actually got my husband to eat the fruit too. I think the benefits of being part of the study, it, it just makes you think a little bit more about what, what you eat and kind of, you know, we've got questionnaires that focus on, you know, that record what they eat over a period of time as well, so it does make you think a little bit more about what you eat. It's made people think about their lifestyle in general, not just about what they're eating. I think a lot of people have used it as a way to kickstart healthy eating in general and um, exercise as well. The preliminary results that we're looking at do show that people have changed their lifestyle in terms of their snacking habits and that a lot of people have used it as a way to kickstart a healthy lifestyle and therefore have lost weight. And I think it's important to, to use to, to evaluate the, how effective the workplace can be to, to use schemes such as fruit in the workplace to try and get people to be healthier. I think there's an appreciation at policy level in terms of the UK and our um, Department of Health um, policy documents. The first one, uh, choos Choosing Health, which was released in 2004, had a big focus on the workplace and that was emphasising that we needed to use a workplace as an intervention site. So that was back in 2004. Four years la later, in 2008, we have the Healthy Weight, Healthy Lives document, which is focusing on obesity. And again, that recognises the role of the workplace. So the workplace is very much on the government agenda. But what's interesting is that I think if you look generally, workplace interventions are being run by commercial companies and they're not necessarily taking a very holistic view of you know approaches to intervening in workplace health being part of the study and having this the bonus of having free fruit given at work has been quite an incentive we've had discussions with people about do they come in early on the fruit days so it offers lots of incentives to the workplace i think there's also that feeling of being valued 
by the workplace. So there's a lot more to unpick and I'm not sure in this study if we will have the hard economic evidence but I think in designing future interventions that what that is what we really need to be able to convince both workplaces and policy that providing interventions such as giving something as simple as providing fruit does make sense both economically and in terms of maintaining staff. For more information on this and other Isofruit projects, please go to our website www.isofruit.org.